Greetings everyone. This tutorial is designed for students at Ted Rogers School of Management at Ryerson University to analyze data um, dealing with uh, retail, consumption, and the like. The software we are using at the moment is SPSS and following are the topics that we will be discussing today. how to create new variables and in this uh, tutorial we'll be showing you two examples number one is the example dealing with uh, recoding and the other one is to use compute to create a new variable and then in recoding we'll show how one can recode um, one variable into um, itself or in in this particular example into a new variable the use of multiple response sets, what are these and how can they be useful, some basic graphing using Pareto charts, um, missing value analysis and to show what happens if you have missing values in your data set and what can you learn from values that are actually missing in your data set, some outlier analysis if time permits and also weighting cases in an analysis. So. First, we um, would like to mention that uh, the book that we are using is Statistics for Marketing and Consumer Research by Mario Mazzucci, and um, the author is based in Italy, and it's a fantastic book. I like it. It's, it's one of those books that does not have any photographs in it, so you can teach rather than paying for colorful photographs. Uh, there are data that we are using from the um, author, and the data are available at the link that you see on the website. So please click on this link to download the SPSS data files that we will be using for this um, assignment. Okay, so now comes the question of multiple response sets. Now, consider the example that if somebody asks you, where do you usually purchase your food? And y your response could be, well, I buy my uh, food sometimes at the local grocery stores. It could be Loblaws or, or if you're near your work and you buy your food, it could be something else, um, Walmart and whatnot. Um, the, the answer is not mutually exclusive. That is, if I were to ask you, do you usually buy food at one place or more, then, and if you buy your food more, that, mm, at one, more than just one place, then that creates a problem. That response uh, to the question, where do you usually purchase your food, cannot be coded into one variable. Um, because a variable would say, well, this person buys food at grocery store, but it wouldn't record if you were to buy the food at some other places. So the way around it is that the response is coded into multiple variables. Do you buy food here, 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 and there as well? And then the, the response would be aggregated into one big um, uh, set of variables. So I'll show you an example of this in SPSS and show you how you can then aggregate back response from across the variables into just one table because you would like to see where people buy. And the reason for this is because the, the fact that the answers are not mutually exclusive, um, um, you need to then create a table instead of creating seven or eight tables. So I'll show you, demonstrate this in one second. So here we go. Um, the question is where do you buy your food and the answers are coded in here as Q8, A, B, C to H. Um, you can buy it at a discount supermarket, a supermarket, a local shop, a butcher, a farmer, a market, an online shopping home and others, right? And the answers are coded for each of these as 0, 1. So uh, here we go. 0 if no, 1 yes. Okay, so good. So let's pick pick a respondent for instance here. Um, respondent number um, 2235, right? The person didn't buy in a discount store, but it, it, he bought it or she bought it somewhere else. So one yes and others are no. And here this person has got, has purchased food at multiple places B, under B and under D. This person has bought food under um, other categories as well and um, so this is fairly interesting right here 108 has purchased food at B, D and F so what to do about it well let's see the option we'll use here is called transform and no analyze multi-value no 
multiple miss multiple response define variable set we click here we know that these are the values so I have to go here the no here okay so I select all the way up to H I'll put them here and I'll call this and counted value you know it's one is yes zero otherwise right and name um, name let's call it point of purchase POP point of purchase right and I can label it as point of purchase compare that's what I want it's added This is a hidden thing. See, this is a hidden thing. So it has created a set, but not a variable. Okay. So let's see. Um, I can go into analyze now, and under table and under customize tables, um, I would like to analyze this. And we don't have to do that. Okay. Here we go. Now we need to analyze this. So I will see. And pass, and I want to count how many I am going to pass. And then percentages. Let's see. I would like to know what percentage. Think. Oh, here column responses. This may do the trick. Apply to selection. Okay. Bravo. This is it. Okay. So point of purchase. Very nice. Here, discount market. Fifty-seven counts. So eight percent shopped at discount markets. 52% um, shopped at supermarkets and um, 32 shopped, uh, uh, sorry, 4.5% at local shop, 21% went to butcher, and 5% um, went to grocery. So the point I was trying to make is as follows. Those were eight variables, eight different variables, and those responses were aggregated into one table. And that's pretty helpful, right? Um, if you were to do this by yourself, um, it would have taken some time, right? Look, one table, and very interesting, you get the answers compiled around eight variables into one table, and 